It's brutal out there, but there are some precautions you can take during this excessive heat warning. Keep yourself, children and pets indoors if you can. If you have to be outdoors, wear light, breathable clothes and try to minimize direct sun exposure. If you feel lightheaded or weak, seek medical attention. It is also very important to drink plenty of fluids. Also eat light foods like fruits or salads. The Miami VA healthcare system has temporarily halted elective surgeries, and it's due to a downed air conditioning unit. CBS News Miami's Ted Scouten has the details. Patients on several floors of the Miami VA hospital had to be moved because of problems with the air conditioning unit. Patients on the 11th and 12th floor were moved. The VA tells us that while they were conducting routine maintenance of primary chiller, they had to take it offline to clean it. All elective surgeries at this point are on hold, we're being told. In several areas of the hospital, portable chillers as well as fans are set up. The nursing unit tells us this is not the first time there's been a problem like this. There was an issue with the AC in June as well. It's kind of disappointing because this is a veterans hospital as our federal hospital where you know our patients our veterans they deserve so much better than this some patients we spoke to said that parts of the hospital they were in felt fine while others told us it was very hot where they were we're still waiting to learn when all this is going to be fixed we'll have more coming up at five and six in miami ted scout cbs news miami Ted, thank you. An American nurse and her daughter are free after being kidnapped in Haiti. Alex Dorsonville and her daughter were abducted nearly two weeks ago in Port-au-Prince. The Christian group founded by her husband said in a statement, quote, there is still much to process and to heal from in this situation. The group did say they were safe, but no other details were released. Now to Mega Millions fever in the state. We have a winner in the record breaking Mega Millions jackpot. The winning $1.58 billion ticket was purchased right here in Florida. It was sold at this Publix in Neptune Beach. That's in the Jacksonville area. The jackpot is the third largest lottery prize in U.S. history. Publix will get a $100,000 bonus for selling the winning ticket. Folks in Neptune Beach say this win is going to change the town. I think it's going to turn upside down from this. You know, we have no idea because you always read about it up north or out west, the little towns, and you know, everybody swarms here now. They're like, oh, that's a lucky public. I hope these guys get some money out of it. Well, there was a big win a little closer to home in Hollywood. This is the store where someone won the second tier prize of $1 million. The total is actually 2 million because of the mega piler. The store will get around $1,000 for selling that ticket. And here is a look at those winning numbers. 13, 19, 20, 32, 33, and the mega ball 14. When we come back, we are counting down to tonight's premiere of the new CBS musical show Superfan. We have an exclusive look at tonight's episode, which includes South Florida's own Gloria Estefan. Keep it here. Welcome back. Governor Ron DeSantis announced the suspension of state attorney Monique Worrell. The governor says Worrell neglected her duty to faithfully prosecute crime in her jurisdiction. And we can look to see all these different instances of people uh, who have committed criminal offenses, victimized people uh, because they were not held accountable in accordance with the laws of Florida when they had the opportunity to hold them accountable. The Ninth Circuit prosecutor had spent months defending her record in the wake of high profile crimes. Worrell responded to the suspension earlier today. Take a listen. Under this tyranny, Elected officials can be removed simply for political purposes and by a whim of the governor. And no matter how you feel about me, you should not be okay with that. The governor appointed former Judge Andrew Bain to serve as the state attorney for the duration of the suspension. A date is set for the next court hearing in the election conspiracy case against Donald Trump. 
DOJ attorneys as well as Trump's legal team will be back in court this Friday. The proceeding will focus on what evidence in the election interference case can be shared publicly. Trump's team wants lax restrictions. That's because they say he needs to be able to defend himself while campaigning for the Republican presidential nomination. The Justice Department cites concerns for witnesses and too much information being spread on social media. Trump's attorneys wanted to set the hearing for early next week. That's because of a hearing tomorrow in the Mar-a-Lago classified documents case. Abortion rights supporters in Ohio are claiming a huge victory. That's after voters rejected a measure that would have made it harder to amend the state constitution. CBS News Miami's Caitlin Huey Burns has more. Ohio, we did it. We did it! In Republican-led Ohio, a resounding victory for abortion rights supporters. The supporters of Issue 1 made the ultimate tactical error, and they have unleashed a movement that I promise you is not going away tomorrow. Voters there rejected a Republican-backed measure that would have made it more difficult to change the state constitution to include abortion protections. But I think this proves that when voters look at the issues and when the legislature and Republicans overstep, Ohioans will push back. The results will keep in place a simple majority threshold needed to pass a constitutional amendment in Ohio, 50 percent plus one vote. The proposal, backed by Republican Secretary of State Frank LaRose, had aimed to raise it to 60 percent. Raising that threshold to 60 percent to me is about a consensus. But I think a lot of people look at this and say this is an attempt to influence the outcome of a specific ballot measure on abortion in November. Listen, I've proposed that this be done in the past, and as I said, there's no bad time to do a good thing. In November, Ohio will have a ballot measure to enshrine abortion protections in the state constitution, which, according to a recent poll, nearly 58 percent of voters there support. Meanwhile, a CBS News poll shows Democrats nationwide are more driven by the issue than Republicans. And in a sign of how Democrats hope to capitalize on that for the 2024 presidential race, President Biden took notice, saying Ohioans spoke loud and clear, and tonight, democracy won. More than 3 million Ohioans turned out to vote in this off-year special election. That's a turnout rate of nearly 40 percent, underscoring the power this issue has in mobilizing voters. Caitlin Huey Burns, CBS News, Washington. This summer, music super fans of all ages are showing their love for their favorite artists at concerts and festivals around the country. But are they truly super fans? The new musical game show super fan will give fans the opportunity to battle it out in front of their favorite artists. It's to prove they are the most devoted supporters and deserving of a once in a lifetime prize. Check out a preview of tonight's premiere. <laughs> On the set of the new series Super Fan. It is a music special disguised as a game show. Every episode features one musical artist and five contestants who compete in multiple rounds of gameplay to prove that they are the ultimate super fan. The best thing to create a place for stars to come and be reminded of how much they mean to all of us fans. Someone saved your kid's life, but you saved my life. Music superstars Kelsey Ballerini, Gloria Estefan, Little Big Town, LL Cool J, Pitbull, and Shania Twain took our stage and performed their top hits before their number one fan was crowned. I am beyond excited. This is so thrilling. I would not in no way, shape, or form be able to live my dreams if it wasn't for the fans. They've taught me what my music really means. They are the pulse, the heartbeat, the life of what it is that we do. We get to share together and it's just such an honor. It is so much fun. During the show, the whole country votes to select their favorite fan and the winner receives a once in a lifetime prize specially curated by the artist. We're going to go in the studio. They're gonna, we're, I'm going to take them through my new record. They can ask me whatever they want to ask me. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to have some fun. So it's an honor. I love doing this kind of stuff. Also, there's nothing else like this. So there isn't this kind of stuff. It's just this. I don't 
thing I love about this show is the connection between the artist and the fan. Super fan is just electric in every single way. And if you think it's a game, like we say in Miami, play with it, <laughs> darling. <laughs> That looks terrific. That is your quick cast. I'm Naja Sherman. Stay tuned for more news right here on CBS News Miami.